time for Ask Annex. If you got a question for us, head to our website, AnnexWealth.com, and look for the Ask button. I'm Danny Clayton. Derek Felski is here, Dave Spano, and uh, we brought a really smart guy in here, Todd Voigt. He certainly is. Todd and I have been managing assets apart for about 35 years. Right. We're glad to have him in the room right now. So we want to ask Annex. We've got to ask the smart guys. No pressure, Todd. From Tom, it's a two-parter. What are the possible negative effects of rising treasury yields on stocks? And the second one, and we'll come back to that, is what is the March triple witching? Well, first, the uh, negative effects of rising treasury yields, we've talked about it a number of times, is higher rates compete with yields on stock. So you're getting to the point where you've got a 1.5% 10-year treasury versus 1.5% yield on the S&P 500. So you cross that threshold and all of a sudden bonds, which have maturity dates and that stated interest, it will start looking a little more safer than stocks. And let me just jump in. So high rising interest rates also mean market multiples could be affected. It means corporate earnings could be affected because interest rates go up. You know, obviously consumer spending is affected by higher uh, mortgage rates, for example. And the end of TINA, right? There is no alternative is rising interest rates could suggest that people have somewhere else to invest their money. And then the second part of the question was, what is triple witching? Well, triple witching is the expiration of regular stock options, puts and calls on individual stocks, stock index futures, and stock index options all at the same time. And, and that usually just means there's some portfolio rebalancing and you could expect some volatility on that Friday when uh, you have triple witching. And so if you guys uh, are interested in the kind of conversations we have on our investment policy committee meeting, this is what it's like. We talk about convexity and triple witching. So if that sounds like something you don't want to be involved with, there's a team that can help.